Good evening. Last Monday, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak went to Dover Harbour visiting Border Force on what was quite a windy day. This is what he had to say about government policy and its effect on small boats crossing the Channel. Crossings elsewhere in Europe are up, uh, are up by almost a third over a similar time period, and yet crossings into the UK are down by a fifth. I think mean, that should tell us something that something is going on here, and that's the result, I think, of the actions that we've put in place, and there's a range of different actions that we've put in place that are contributing to that. Now, I thought this was complete and utter nonsense, and this is how I replied exactly a week ago today. Because from Sunday, the weather changes completely. It's the end of the big anticyclone in the North Sea. It's the end of the strong northeasterly breezes. If the forecast is anything like right, from this Sunday, we will have eight to ten days of absolutely perfectly calm weather. We know there are many, many thousands, possibly even tens of thousands, from Dunkirk right the way down west of the 2K to Burke, waiting to cross. Well, a week on, I thought I'd put that to the test. So very early this morning, we set out from Dover Harbour to find out who was right, the Prime Minister or me. So the fog has lifted a bit. We, can, we still can't see very clearly, but there's border force picking up. There's a dinghy. Difficult to tell. There's a few dozen on board. Uh, definitely, they're just being put, pulled up onto border force's boat. Now, the French escort over here to the left, as you can see, has now turned and is heading back towards France. This is going on at the moment. There's another pickup about to take place a little bit further down the channel. It's been foggy. There are two boats that have been spotted. I'd be surprised, to be honest, if there aren't more. And remember, 11 boats came in yesterday. When we get conditions without that northeasterly wind, when we get relative calm, they're coming in just the same numbers they were last year. As to Rishi Sunak saying to us last week that he's cut it by 20% already and he's going to stop the boats, frankly, I think that is for the birds. And you can hear, Nigel, the, uh, the border force vessel out there still sounding its horn because that fog has really only just lifted. It's yeah. been very dangerous here. You couldn't see more than a couple of hundred metres in front of our boat. We're on this boat. We've got radar, we've got all the safety equipment for going through the shipping lanes in fog, something these boats do not have. And we've seen a couple of tragedies, and frankly, I'm amazed we haven't seen more. Well, as predicted, Nigel, it has got much busier as the morning has progressed. We've just come across another border force vessel that's picked up not one, but two dinghies full. Yeah, two dinghies escorted, courtesy of the French Navy, over to our side of the channel. Um, and yeah, Border Force picking them up. But more remarkably, and what I haven't seen before, is the other boat with the Border Force vessel, the big catamaran. And apparently two of these boats have been commissioned from Scotland at a price of two million quid. And their job? To pick up the empty dinghies. Yeah, two million quid a year to pick up the empty dinghies. Now, surely that job if it has to be done, which it does, you, you know, you don't want dinghies just floating off down the channel. Surely that could have gone to local Kent people, but no, 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 it's gone to a firm in Scotland. Well, we can see one of those dinghies that has been cut loose by the Border Force catamaran at the moment as it waits for that other chartered catamaran to pick it up. And in fact, uh, a shot of that shows two dinghies that it's already... Yeah picked up, Nigel, but two million pounds is a uh, fairly decent contract Actually, if you can get it. I'm sure the local lads here could have done it for an awful lot less, and they know the water as well. Um, but as you can see, it's a very foggy day, so it's been very difficult to spot some of these dinghies, but I mean, here we are, uh, you know, it's now half past nine in the morning, and already we're on about, I'd say it's about ten boats already, so we're headed for a very, very big day. Uh, Rishi, it's a barge full already today. And our aerial footage showing Shots of this border force vessel absolutely packed out. Uh, many dozens of migrants on the bow and again at the stern yeah. of the vessel. I guess if you speak to anyone that knows the marine environment around here, they could have told you that this was always due to the weather and not due to government policy. Yeah. This is what, I was so angry last week. You know, the Prime Minister arrives in Dover and says, look at me, I'm wonderful. You know, the numbers coming have been reduced significantly and as we can see from the last two days, that is not the case. We've now got normal summer weather and I would anticipate over the course of the next couple of months, I'd be surprised if we didn't see 10,000 in the next two months. But I forgot something. Rishi did present 
last Monday. A magical solution. But what I am pleased is that we have now not just one barge arriving in a fortnight in Portland, but we secure, secured two further boats today, uh, and then we will work through the detail and implementation of those. So there we are, two barges. Well, that's going to do the trick, isn't it? Because nobody came on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday as predicted. On Saturday, 87 came. On Sunday, 616 came. Haven't got the figures for today yet. I would expect it to be in excess of 700. So already, just in three days, Mr Sunak, we're a barge short. Oh, and by the way, Mayor Khan, you're going to have to accept a barge full down in the Royal Docks. So what was last Monday all about? Was it all about spin and presentation as opposed to substance? I was pretty angry last Monday with the way that he behaved. I want to ask you, do you trust Rishi? Let me know what you think. Farage at gbnews.com. I don't trust him an inch. He's the biggest spinner in British politics that we've seen since Tony Blair.